Hello, my name is Marie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm participating in Crafted by Cory's Minis Challenge. We'll talk more about that a little later. So let's get started on DIY number one. For the first DIY, this will be an easy craft to do. You'll need these two items from the Target Dollar Spot, this wood sign and Venomous Spiders Potion Bottle. You'll also need a Dollar Tree Spider Sticker, a small dowel, Mod Podge Glitter and a Glue Gun. The first thing I'll do is I'll use some Mod Podge around the edge and then I'll sprinkle on some glitter. I cut a small piece from a dowel, I painted it black, and then I'll adhere it onto the back of the spider. I'll also adhere these miniature spiders, and I'll be back with the reveal. Here's how the sign turned out. I love all the purple glitter, it adds a pop of color and the spiders complete this cute little sign. It's perfect for your Halloween decor. Today I'm participating in Crafted by Cory's Mini Challenge. The theme is fall and Halloween. The host for this challenge is Cory, and I'll be sure to leave her channel link and the playlist for the other creators in the description box. So please be sure to check them out, and let's continue on to DIY number 2. For the next DIY, this is very easy to do. The items you need from the Dollar Tree are this broom decor, a pot, ribbon, face filler, and a glue gun. I pulled out the green filler, and I'll just pour some of this inside the pot. Next, I'll cut this down to size. I'll use some scissors and some miter shears to trim off the handle. I'll add some new ribbon, and then I'll be back with the reveal. Here it is, all completed. I love the little broom. I think this turned out so adorable, and it's perfect for your tiered tray. For the last DIY, items you'll need from the Dollar Tree are this doll furniture, this empty wood divider, these are the items that it holds, glass bottles, wood tiles, you'll also need some paint, embellishments, and a glue gun. The first thing I'll do is paint these. I broke off the sides to make a long shelf. You can just push them out with your thumb, it was fairly easy to do. Now it's time to fill up the jars. I'll be using a variety of embellishments from leaves to floral moss, beads, glitter, and miniature spiders. I got the miniature spiders from Target's Dollar Spot. You can get creative here and that's the fun part. Next, I'll be making little books. I'll use miter shears to cut the wood tiles and then I'll paint them.
Here's how I painted the little books. I think they came out really cute. I also made a scroll by taking some parchment paper. I rolled it up and then I tied it off with some jute twine. I wrote out some labels for the jars. I'll adhere them on and put them on the shelves and then I'll be back with the final reveal. Here it is all completed. I added some spiders and webs. I love the little books and all the miniatures in the display. This is perfect for Halloween. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, I would love to have you here. Comment and let me know which one of these DIYs was your favorite. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!